I loved my fiance, but after this, things changed forever. Two years earlier, our life together had seemed so promising. I knew he was the one as soon as I met him. I had broken up with my ex-boyfriend a few months previously, and I was ready to meet someone new. So I signed up on the dating app, Bumble, and that was how I found Jell. Jell is a Dutch software engineer working for Google in London. He was kind, quirky, and funny. I was a school physics teacher, so we were both quite nerdy science types, and I loved how active he was, always going around running or climbing in his spare time. We were both so sure the relationship was right, and we told each other during our second date. <laughs> this is it, This is you, dog. This is it, <coughs> We had got together during the pandemic in summer 2020, me age 30, him 34, and when the second lockdown was announced, I asked him to move in. Although it was still early in a relationship, it didn't feel too soon. Living together in High Barrett, North London, we grew even closer, quicker than we might have done otherwise. Both of us were working from home, isolated from others, and spending quality time together. I always think that a great way of telling if you have a good relationship is if you feel like you're a better person when you're with your partner. I felt that with Jelly. He challenged me to be kinder, more aware of what is going on in this world, more curious. I was so happy and felt so lucky to have met this amazing man. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not just reading fan fiction. This is, this is good. <laughs> it gets good. We didn't know at this point the cruel twist that lay in wait for us, and that throughout our relationship, something was happening to Jelly. It wasn't until the day after Jelly's 37th birthday that symptoms started to appear. He woke up feeling dizzy and nauseous. At first, we just assumed it was a hangover from our celebration, but the sister, symptoms never went, went away. Instead, they grew worse. Within about a month, he was vomiting all the time, and he even planned a few trips abroad, but we had to cancel it because Jelly just wasn't feeling too well. Initially, doctors told him it was vertigo and told him he would get better, but he just had to wait. But we continued to, but he continued to feel sick, so he couldn't work. We had planned to get engaged, and I knew Jelly was going to propose in the summer when we were on holiday, but we had to cancel the holiday, so I thought, I'm going to go propose to him instead. This isn't going to get in the way of our future. <coughs> just a few weeks after our engagement, we received that the really devastating news that more details I'm not gonna lie a shorty proposing to me is crazy like not the shit on nobody that, that that has happened to it just it's such a swap it's something I just wouldn't I wouldn't know how to react like her standing on one knee for me is I don't know I think I feel I think I did feel a range of emotions at that point good and bad scans that shown look, it Jelly looked, had a bu bu nah, brain tumor it, it, oh. it wasn't benign it was a rare type of cancer of the central nervous system called medulloblastoma more often seen in children than adults Jelly was told that the chance of him getting getting it had been 1 in 4 million his chances of surviving 5 years was 65% both of us broke out in tears but while I went to pieces and remained a mess for a long time afterwards Jelly was remarkably strong and calm he never once said why I'm here it's not fair his attitude was these are the cards I've been dealt and I just have to get on with it that's <sighs> Anyway, as that's the reality of it. I could not stay with him. Oh, Watching helplessly as he got sicker and sicker over the preceding three months had been bad enough, but the uncertainty of the diagnosis brought was too too much for me. I spent many sleepless nights researching, trying to find a miracle cure or a story with a good outcome, but all I could find was uncertainty and bleak statistics. Not only was there a significant chance of the cancer returning in the future, but there was a possibility of long term and sometimes delayed side effects from the radiotherapy and chemotherapy treatment on his brain. For the first time ever, you can choose where you change the world. Select your first permanent duty station from over. I feel like the man I love. Not trying to <clears throat> cut this off, but in sickness or health, good and bad, that's kind of what you signed up for. That's 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 what you signed up for when you got proposed to, when you read those vows. That's this is a rare situation, but it's rare. And listen, I love you slipping away from me, and I've been so close to having everything I wanted. All of a sudden. It had been snatched away. I couldn't eat or sleep. I was suffering from panic attacks. I told my mother and his, I can't do this. I can't stay with them. They oh. warned me not to tell them the decision until at least after the surgery. So I went to see my mother's in late September. Jelly went to the hospital for 17 hours to remove the tumor. The operation was successful, but he'd been left with quite severe brain damage and had to get used to living with disabilities. He had double vision, paralysis on his right side. He also had motor skill issues and had to learn how to write and walk again. Despite all this, he had coped amazingly well. Me, less so. We had a brief conversation about our future before surgery and admitted I was struggling, but there's a chance it can be cured, he protested. I ended our relationship two weeks later. He was still recovering in the hospital, and I sat and I faced him on the chair and told him, I couldn't stay with him. I can't see a way I could be happy with you anymore. I said, I, I said, devastated. I knew I would be no good for him because I couldn't even function myself due to the uncertainty of it all. He needed strength and optimism. I could not provide that. We shed tears and then for the future that he didn't have. I'm still trying to come to terms with my decision. At the time, I felt like the worst person in the world. And I know if I heard this story about someone else, I would think they were selfish. This is partly why I wanted to write this article, because it's very easy for society to make judgments. But in situations like this where there aren't clear cut right and wrongs, sometimes we need to remember we can't judge someone when we are not in their shoes. Jelly understood, as did my friends. He and I remained close friends. That was it. Did he die? No, he's still alive. <clears throat> he just okay. had to live with. If I was in the position of Jelly, I would send the girl away. True. 
to be, that's me. Man, that, that's because that's me. That is actually that. That's because that me. I would actually before she does it, I'm like, yo, that's fair. Ain't no, but I don't want it. I because that's the that and that's the way I am. There's other people that you are the way you are, and that's fine. Isn't he comfort? Niggas need love. Niggas. I don't want to see her like that and staying there and being all miserable and shit. Yo, bro. Nah, per now, okay, that part. Yes, I agree. I don't want nobody to be with me and be miserable or like not not happy. You know what I'm saying? Some, some effed up stuff happened. I'm in this situation now, and if if I'm being optimistic, but I can see like you're not really all, like I don't want to be there on that because that energy is gonna then go jump onto me, and then now we both down and it, like now nah, I don't want to be around. That. I agree with that. Now in the sense of this is your wife again. This is based by basis, case by case, my man. It's like it really depends. Really depends. In this time of need, you need to be around love. You need to be around optimism. You need to be around uh, 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 healing energy. You feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> Anything other than that is going to, like, like, stint your process. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can feel people's energy, especially when you're sick, bro. When they come in the room and they're looking at you and all of that and, 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 and the smiles aren't there or, the, or the, like, you know what I'm saying? The spirit of the situation is weighing on them. Already he's weighing on me, so it's like, bro, I want to ring around some people that's positive, not around that shit. It was I get nice. what you're saying. Love is love. You gotta, you know, that shit. I would let her go. I would let her go. So, and that's I me. would never want to be an anchor. And like you, that and you could yeah. be like, oh, this is same, this is this and that, whatever. I rely on my, I, I rely on my family and stuff like that. I know, I think that my girl wouldn't do it. Yeah, fact. But I would still be like, hey, yo, this is doom right man. now, okay? And the way I'm thinking, most of the people really think that sometimes I am negative where I believe that I am realistic, right? Uh, in that case, I'm like, yo, go do, go, go rare out, situation. do your thing, live your life, please. I don't want to see that. As a matter of fact, it's on a different scale, okay? It's like one of my girl go out. My girl doesn't want to go out. She doesn't really like people like that. So if we go someplace, right, or we go to a comedy thing or a gala or something like that, She's going to be next to me, and then she's going to be miserable because she doesn't like it to be here. Now, I'm going to be miserable because I'm always worried about her. Exactly. And I'm going to be... It, it happens sometimes like, yo, you're not having fun. I'm about to, you know, I'm about, I'm about, I'm about to have some fun. Go home. You're not... You're, you're cool. I'm cool. I can handle you're myself. You're my style. She, just because now you're not having fun. You're not comfortable. Exactly. I don't like you seeing... I don't like to see you like that. So go home and do your thing. Right. I would hate to that be energy the rubs off. That my loved one is constantly suffering. Exactly. So if you blow it up in a different, different scale, I I'm in the predicament that he is. I'm like, yo, you can go out and just do your thing, cause I don't want to be that anchor. I don't want to be that struggling. Exactly. You. Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't, don't want to be that person. Again, this is all time dependent to me. Three years in, engaged, and not married. Like I ain't even that man. Yeah. Ten years in, married with kids, we having a different discussion. That, that, that's yeah, that's really Twenty years in, no kill. We having a different discussion. Yeah, we having a discussion. It's right for, for them, I good. know everybody wants to be hyper judgmental, but like I get it. Like, yeah, that's death. That's a whole. Class. See, my fault too. I thought they was married. They was only engaged. So yeah, it's early stage. Like you thought, it, feel me? Hey man, not married yet. You ain't got no kids. Y'all not. Y'all tied in because y'all spent that time together. And probably a lot, a lot has happened. Obviously, like even with this, but it's like, bro, hell nah, son. I don't like that. Like, even I'm not. I never even been engaged before. But like, even my significant other would be upset. Like that, that, oh, like that weighs on you. Feel me? That weighs on you. Bro. Looming over the whole thing the whole time. There you She's go. what in her early thirties. Her chance to have kids. TikTok, they, 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 TikTok. TikTok, TikTok. Y'all be talking about that all the time. Biological clock, all these things like that. That's a hard one to stomach. Yeah. Also, living with somebody with a disability, if that's not what it was at the beginning, and like all of a sudden in the first two, three years, you find that that person is no longer going to be able to walk or use their body as much, like that's another thing too. Yeah. Like, listen, that's a commitment. Y'all can say whatever you want. If I get with a girl in the first two years, and then I find out for whatever reason she can't have sex ever again, move past the six. If I find out she can't have kids, I'll find out she no longer gonna have her legs or arms a few years from now. But the dynamic may change. I understand that. The dynamic may she change. Left. I understand that she left with the circumstances and everything and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's kind of it can be like a, take a toll on you. Okay, was it selfish? Absolutely. Fact. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. I don't think that being selfish is inherently a bad thing. Bad thing, no. It's a thing. It's a thing. Right? Yeah. Self preservation. Whatever, how you do it, it becomes a, a good or bad thing. But. Yes, you were thinking about yourself and your well-being and how you would, and I understand that, and your feelings were gone. You did the selfish thing. You said, you know, let me, let me, 
Let me duck out of here because I'm not going to be happy. If you figure that you were not going to be happy, and you just, if you didn't view your man the same way, that's for you. That's a I fact. Understand that. That's a fact. But if miraculously he becomes better, and Those you can't spin back. And he's more happier than you, you can't spin then, back. Then you get. You're done, no. Nope. I want to go back. No. No, I no, 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 no. Stay there. Stay there. There's no spinning back after that. I ain't gonna lie. There's no spinning back. There's no spinning back. It's not even an option to spin back. Are you shouldn't me? Not even an option. Me on the on the on the side of jelly. If I saw that, and I wouldn't. It's not even. It's not even out of spite though. It's not even out of spite. It's not even out of hate or no shit like that. It's just like nah. You feel me? I love you. I appreciate you for, 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 for those years that we spent together and the times and the memories and all that. And even when I was down, you still pulled up and all that. You feel me? I want you to be happy. Go live your life somewhere else. But once I get good or like miraculously, I'm back to 100% like what I was before, I don't I don't want to relive that. You know what I'm saying? Because in my, now in my mind, again, it's not malicious. It's nothing towards you. But in my mind, now I'm thinking, God forbid this shit comes back or something else happens. It's, it's the same reaction made, you feel me? It, the reaction you gave me the first time, who's to say it won't happen the second time? And I can't go through a second heartbreak. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, his heart is broken. Like, he understands it, but you still going to feel away. You know what I mean? So, nah, nah, nah. Not, not jacking at me. So, I could, uh, we're friends and everything and stuff, but no, you can't get some of this back. Not jacking at me. Well, what do you say to somebody who said, she was about to be married to this guy through sickness and then health? Ah, that's what I was on. What do you say to those people? Yeah, she didn't get married to him. Mm-mm. She got engaged. She was about to. She didn't get married to him, so she didn't sign the vow. That's, that's true. Do you think that would have changed something? Nope. No. Okay. Yeah, no, no. no. And but it should people, have. I say mm, it is what it is. You, you. I think those people that say through sickness and it, I think you're right. But some people, like again, we right, said that before, right? We already had this conversation. You got to bet who you get married to. Bro. Marriage to some people is not really what what uh, the vows and everything and stuff. It's really about the wow, the pizzazz, the gold, the ring, the ceremony. That's what it is now. Yeah, facts. I agree. Back in the day, grandmother, great grandmother, and all those in that generation ago, yeah, that was marriage, nigga. I, I done heard some shit. <clears throat> Marriages that should have just been like chalked up. Off some, off some, like, not even no light, just being cheated on, like some real life just violation, nigga. But this, the, the marriage back then is different. Even even some people, like, prime example, Will Smith. I hate to use him. My son is still married to her. She done violated all. Crazy, and it's not even it's not even it, that viol kind of kind of violation happens on the regular, but it's it's violation even more because it's on a broad scale. Will Smith is one of the top five in the top five top ten actors in the world, especially African American. And y'all life is, excuse me, y'all life is projected like across the world. You know what I'm saying? Like that, his pain and suffering is projected. On the internet, they're showing off the people, the boasting. You understand what I'm saying? That That's what they want. That's the wedding date. They want the wedding date. They don't want a marriage. Yeah, they want a date. Yeah. They want that day where everything Talk is all about them. Cook, they let them cook. Them. Maybe that's that as well. They don't think about the vows. Motherfuckers don't think about the vows. More, let them Even cook. Most people, I could say this, that most people, when they say them vows, they don't really understand the vows. When that's they true. sign the paper, it's not really about the vows in the paper. Most people. I could say that. Let them cook. Of, yeah, I, I see. I think a lot of people who are doing all this talking, they got their own breaking points. They got their own yes, thing, things that if their partner wasn't doing or wasn't able to do, they would cut. Absolutely. I know a lot of these men be like, see, women aren't alone. If you find out your girl wasn't down to bang you no more, or if your girl, let's say, lost the ability to have kids and y'all never had kids, I think a lot of you guys would have yeah, everybody marriage. got a breaking yeah. point. So through when they say all that shit, all right. through thick and thin, through bad and good, through this and that, yeah, okay. Gotta really stand on that I shit. I love shopping the real real. It's Gucci. Got a, got a real life stand on that. If you real, really, got a real if you life like family. anything in the Bible, basically, yeah, like anything in the Bible or anything what you about to say? in any holy books. What you about to say? I'm religious. Yeah. To what extent? Ah, ah. I believe in those things. To what extent? Okay. And then, and then again, I'm not saying it's good or bad. Yeah. I don't care. That's your business, but who you yeah. who you connect with. That's on you. That's not on me. I don't care. Yeah. I mean, listen. And it's I, I think people sent me this article because they would be like, yo, look at this bitch showing up. Nah. nah listen, yeah. if I was dating some girl and I really, really wanted to be with her and I found out she probably only got three years to live, not going to lie. The situation would be, being, it'd be very different. Yeah, man. I agree, man. Let me know how y'all feeling, though. This, I, I can't really shit on a gal. I can't really shit on her, you know? Like it's, it's it's a lot to that man. It's a, it's a lot to that man. A 
lot to that to unpack and really like be in like feel me? It's a lot, man. Stay stay you know what I mean? So unless you really really willing to sign up for that, disability, sickness and health and all that, I ain't gonna say don't get married, but just don't you sign yourself up for work. That's all I gotta say though. Like, comment, subscribe. Please watch the whole video. Please. I'm trying to hit 10K subs, man. We at 800. I know it seemed crazy. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. You kidding me? At the end of every video, I think I'm about to start, like, words of affirmation so I can just show y'all. Y'all can see it for yourself. And I'm going to hit 10,000 10, views. Not 10,000 views. Excuse me. That, too. I'm going to hit 10,000 subs before this year is out. Before this year is out. I promise. I'm about to go stupid.